What is going on guys, Fitcher here and welcome to another Classic Cars video here on F1 2017. Now, last time out, we drove Senna's first championship winning car from 1988, the McLaren MP44. And today, we're going to drive his third and final championship winning car from 1991, the McLaren MP46. And today, we're going to be driving it at Brazil around the Autodrome Jose Carlos Pache, also known as Interlagos. You know, the 1991 Brazilian Grand Prix was Senna's first ever home Grand Prix victory and not only was it his first home Grand Prix victory he did it while stuck in sixth gear with a broken gearbox an amazing race that was an amazing drive from Senna. I remember watching the Senna movie and he could not lift his arms after the race. He was in that much pain from fighting with the wheel trying to get the car through some of the slow speed corners on such a high gear. Here we go at the McLaren MP4-6 at Interlagos coming up towards the start finish line to start the lap as we head down towards the Senna S of course named after the man who took this car to the world title in 1991 we head through the Senna S getting the back end out through this long right hand of fighting with the car to keep the back end in line and we get through there quite nice as we head down towards turn number four hard on the brakes back down to third gear and back on the power getting the back end out a little bit now through that little left kink and we start to head up the hill to the very tricky middle sector we turn the car in for this fast double apex right hander and then onto the brakes down to first uh second gear i should say for that tight right hander then into this long left you sort of go down a hill and then back up the hill and now up the hill onto the brakes as we lock up the front right a little bit now back onto the power through this long left hand can we keep it flat no chance of that a little bit of a lift and now down to the last proper corner on the track back on the power getting the back end out and now to flat out blast all the way around this long sort of final corner towards the start finish line what is the time going to be it's going to be a one 18.7 not too bad I must say after my first lap driving this car this car is awesome it's very similar to the McLaren MP44 you know only three years separating these two cars and this was just before the introduction of you know uh, traction control and the active suspension and stuff which will be featured in the next classic cars video I do on the Williams FW14B but anyway I'm gonna shut up do a little bit of practice and I'll show you the best lap I put together What a car that is. That is absolutely awesome around this Interlago circuit. And you know what? Just to cap this video off, I am going to do a whole lap stuck in one single gear just like Senna did during the real life Grand Prix in this car at this very track back in 1991. Here we go. So in the dying laps of the 1991 Brazilian Grand Prix, Senna in this very car was stuck in sixth gear he could not change down he lost third fourth and fifth gear and had to do the final few laps of the race in only sixth gear so that is what i'm going to try to do here and see how much slower it is 
compared to the lap I just set a few moments ago. This feels weird not being able to change down when I get down to the corner. And it takes a lot more effort to get around the corners, you know, being in a higher gear. You have to put a bit more steering input into the car. The car doesn't want to turn as much as before, so it makes it so much harder. You know, I, I haven't got the strongest force feedback just on a wheel. I can only imagine how hard this would have been for Anton back in the days. Like, I remember seeing the images after the race through the Senna movie and stuff and other documentaries and miscellaneous Formula One stuff I've watched. He could not lift his arms after the race. He struggled so much just to try to lift a Brazilian flag above <laughs> above his head. And you can just see how damn slow this is not being able to go down out of sixth gear. Sixth gear through that middle sector is so, so slow, especially through those slow couple of corners that are normally in second gear. It is now through the final couple of corners, getting back up to speed now to where this car should be in this gear, the rev range it should be at, the speed it should be at. And there we go, four seconds slower. And that was pretty tough, and that was with my little force feedback wheel. I can only imagine how tough. That would have been physically for Senna back in the day. But what a car this McLaren MP46 is. It is absolutely awesome. So much fun to drive, just like the McLaren MP44. Very similar cars, and they are both so, so much fun to drive. Now, unlike the MP44, this isn't a pre-order bonus. So if you pick up the game, you can play with this no matter what. And I must say, definitely try it out, especially if you have a wheel. It is so, so much fun, this car. So that is going to do it for today, guys. Next time out, we try out Nigel Mansell's Williams FW14B from the 1992 season, the year that active suspension became a thing in Formula 1, but that'll be in the next Classic Cars video, which will hopefully be out very, very soon. So that's going to do it for this video today. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you do smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe for much, much more. F1 2017 content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been X and I'll see you all next time.